Hi guys, this is JP from FSI Panel. Welcome to this tutorial video. On this one, I want to show you how to fly the Airbus A320neo on the new platform from Microsoft using FSI Panel 2020. So if I go to my airliners, we have the Airbus Neo. So I will select the Airbus and I will select the airport for my training. In that case, let's pick up Zurich and I'm ready to fly, click fly. And I see you in the sim in around one minute. I will move it forward, don't worry. See you soon. Okay, guys, we are back in the simulator. The Airbus is ready to depart at the threshold runway 32. So I will click on ready to fly. Let's see what we have to do on this aircraft. There is a couple of things. So this is why it's important to have a look and bear with me on this one. The Airbus is quite tricky to position for two reasons. First of all, the auto throttle is different to the other aircraft. So we have to make sure that we will set our auto throttle to climb the tent and because of the select or manage mode. As you can see now, for my speed, we have the three dashes. That's mean I'm in manage mode. I mean the speed is set by the CDU. So this is not what we want for FSI panel. So what I ask you to do, please go to select mode where you can see digit. The same for the adding bug. So I will just go to select. And now I can see here three digits, three digits. I'm ready to go. Nothing else we need to do. That's it. We are ready to go. So I go in FSI panel. I make sure that the Airbus is detected. And now we can, as always, select our airport. So let's pick up Zurich as we are in Zurich. I will select the runway. So the wind today is light and variable and I want to have an ILS approach. So let's use runway 14, which is the runway in use in Zurich most of the time. And for the fix, I will use a quick position setup. So on this video, I will show you how to fly a final and a vectors and a downwind maybe. So let's start by the final approach. So I will click on final and then I get a summary on the right hand side here, you can see ILS 14, eight nautical miles, altitude should be 3,700. So what's going to happen when I click move aircraft? First, the flaps will be set to full. So that will take 15 seconds. So do not touch anything. This is the main key about the FSA panel. Do not touch anything. Then the aircraft will go in the air and then we will have to set our trust levers to climb. So let's do that together. Click move aircraft. You see your flaps moving to full. I don't do anything. I just wait. It will take around 10 to 15 seconds, depending and now we are there in the air, as you can see. So now my trust, I move it to climb. To the climb detent. And that's all I have to do. Now, if something goes wrong, give it a chance. Do not touch anything. Let FSI panel do the work. You can see the altitude is not correct. We should be at 3,700. We are 3,400 feet. So something will happen. Don't worry about it. FSI panel will correct that situation. Here you go. You see 3,700. It's been corrected. Now I have trust altitude heading 3,700. I get a message from FSI panel that I'm ready to take over the control and I get as well the ILS frequency and the course. Why? Is because the new platform from Microsoft, even though the ILS is active now and I press approach mode, the aircraft will fly this approach. We cannot see it on the screen. Even if I press ILS, you can see that nothing is displayed. And this is unfortunately something I cannot control. So let's have a look how to fix that. The best thing to do is to go in your FMC and to change in the radio page. If we go to the uh, radio page on this one, which is radio nav, ILS frequency. I set my ILS frequency here, 11175. Not here, but here, yes, yeah, better. And the course is one, three, five. And I put it over the course. So now it's magical. We have our ILS frequency there. We can see that everything looks good. My airport is in front of me. So now I can fly. You are in position freeze. So now you can set your FMC. You can set your auto brake. You can do whatever you want. When you feel ready to fly, hold your brake three seconds, one, two, three, 
you get the message you have control and now you're ready to fly so now i call on the approach and as you can see localizer is captured glide slope is coming and my aircraft is ready for the approach so this is how we fly with the airbus the same procedures applies for vectors and downwind let's try vectors so now i will choose a left hand vectors for runway 14 so we are expecting to be on vectors with 30 degrees intercept to the ILS runway 14 which will be 8 nautical miles final when we turn on final at 3700 feet i click move aircraft now you can see my flaps are, mov are moving to one plus f so don't touch anything you see we have another speed we might have some warning do not touch anything let fsi panel do the work you see 3700 feet now altitude heading autopilot and the flaps are still moving and we get the message there aircraft ready all your brake for three seconds to take control perfect now because we set the ils before in dcdu we still have a perfect indications there so we are ready to take control hold your brake one two and three and you have control that's it let's try something else we want to go on the right hand downwind i could use the uh, quick position setup here or i can go to select fix i want a right hand downwind i would like to be a bit farther than three miles offset so i click on the on the value here and i select four miles and i would like to be a bit higher let's say five thousand five thousand and validate so now we're expecting to be on the right hand downwind runway 14 at five thousand feet let's try move aircraft Flaps moving up because on downwind we have a clean uh, configuration. 5,000 feet, we can see altitude heading. Everything looks good. My ILS is set, but too far from the glide slope. And if I look to the right side, let's go on the, uh, on the view from outside. Uh, external view. I can see normally my airport, Zurich, is right there. And I have the message, as you can see now, that I'm ready to take over the control. So I go back to my uh, panel and I'm ready to take over the control. One, two, three. I have control and you can fly your approach. Okay, guys, this was how to fly an approach with FSI Panel 2020 on the Airbus Neo. I hope you enjoy it. If you have any comments or questions, drop it below. Thank you. And as always, stay safe. See you soon.